Now, Doctor Who has been around for 50 years, or possibly thousands, depending how convinced you are by the time travelling. But at the end of the 1970s, beginning of the 80s, when Tom Baker was portraying the Doctor, Lala Ward played the Time Lady, Romanda Forte Lunda, or called Romana when time was short. Uh, as part of the anniversary celebrations, Lara has recorded an audio book as part of the Destiny of the Doctor series. This is called uh, Babble Sphere, and I'm delighted to welcome to Lala to Planet uh, Loose Ends. Thank you. Um, now, when you got a part in uh, Doctor Who, uh, did you imagine that decades later <laughs> you'd be still talking about it? Uh, or, or had it already become an iconic institution then that you knew was going to go on forever? I didn't imagine at the time I'd be talking about it, and 35 years on, it clings to one like a burr. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, in a nice way. On yeah. The whole. And did you enjoy the experience of... Uh... I was very, very lucky. We had Douglas Adams as a script editor, yeah. Tom Baker, who, well, was arguably one of the best of the Doctors, not to everybody, but certainly to me. Oh, they um, don't write to me. I don't want to have the discussion <laughs> about who is the best. Well, he was, he's a me he was a memorable uh, He was doctor, a memorable yeah. Doctor, doctor Who. Yeah. yeah. And um, it was a good time. It was unbelievably clunky. We had no computers, no special effects, really, compared with anything that's available now. And well, that was part of its charm, I think. Yeah. Well, it's, in its new incarnation, the last few years, it's it's gone into a different area of, of production values. So, so they forth. say. <laughs> well, I, well, I think it. I mean, do you, do you watch it? Or? Um. Well, t to be honest, I didn't watch it at the time, and I don't watch it now. I'm not a great science fiction fan, really. But it never really struck me as being about science fiction. There was certainly no science in it much and in, in certainly in terms of technology um, it was just telling stories and we happened to be wandering about in space but it wasn't really science fiction like true science fiction diehards think of I think. right and as you mentioned Douglas Adams uh, mm -hmm. was the script editor at the time this is before or just about the time he was thinking up uh, Hitchhiker's Guide he was to doing the Hitchhiker yeah. Hitchhiker had already been broadcast but he was still writing it yeah and uh, so I think he brought a, a new sort of a slightly different perspective to it when, when he, yeah. was, he was around. He brought clever. <laughs> he brought imaginative and witty and he Im was immensely well-read science-wise, Douglas. So, yeah. you know, he brought all of that to it as lo along with the humour, which was wonderful. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think there's some... Uh, Allegation uh, that or that the, your regeneration because you were a regeneration. Of oh, a, everybody uh, regenerates. Yeah. In Doctor Who. I mean, it's, it's not. But it, it's done in a wrong way. It's, <laughs> a, it's a way that's not normal for Doctor Who. I can't quite follow the logic of uh, why I might be wrong or right. But that's I mean, Douglas's a major fault, mistake in Doctor Who is to try and follow any logic whatsoever. <laughs> you don't do it. Yeah. You just don't ask. Yeah. You just do what's on the page. But it was important in your life, really, because you you were married to your Doctor, uh, to uh, Tom Baker, and you your you're now married to Richard Dawkins, who Douglas introduced you to. So. Yes, um, yeah, the, the Tom Baker one lasted about seven and a half minutes, so I yeah. honestly don't think <laughs> it's really worth talking about. But in, Do <laughs> but in Doctor Who, yeah, you can do time travel, you can make that as yeah, long or as short get, as you like, can't you? can, you can get the hell out of the yeah, marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Richard Dawkins one matters a bit more, because that's 21 years now, and yes, Douglas introduced us, which yeah. was a great thing he did for me amongst <laughs> many other things. But uh, there's two ways of looking at that. I either did it deliberately. There are you, not you will just get, two, Clive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, either he did it deliberately or it was an accidental thing that uh, I think, I think I'm think i not sure if you say this, but your husband says that it was because he was talking to Stephen Fry and they were so tall mm. that left you two to talk yes. to each other. Well, in that the... was absolutely true. Yeah. Douglas and Stephen towered about three feet over our heads and we did the rest of the talking under the archway. Yeah. And are you going to be brought back into Doctor Who? I've got, well, I've got to get some gossip from the Doctor Who. <laughs> There'd been some suggestion they'll get all the old Doctor Who's back and Time Ladies coming back uh, would be ideal. Um, well, they keep trying to get me to do things and I keep sort of backing off, but maybe I'll say yes to one or two of them, I don't know. Ooh, that's, Maybe a very, not. that's a very diplomatic reply. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that could mean anything or nothing. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining us.